<clears throat> and we are live and we are live on our way to the moon okay if you've been with me or even if you just go to my channel and you check out my channel I started getting bullish on Bitcoin because I live in the charts all I see is what I see in the charts and honestly I haven't been watching other people's videos but a lot of people are long crypto face is long if we look at the overall sentiment the crypto face 3.4 million dollar bet on Bitcoin live see how much he's in profit $75,000 in profit boom he makes five seven eight of these a, a year you know killing them and uh, he's using market cipher kind of showing you a little bit of how where he's do what he's getting so anyway we're gonna get into the stream. What's up, Theo? What's going on, my friend? David, help me make money on a call on Bitcoin. If you're not following, life for you missing out. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, but if you check out the channel, all I was trying to show was the channel, which I've been calling this literally for days. And you can see it just by going over to my channel and checking it out, and it says, Let's see where I, you know, <clears throat> Bitcoin breaks 11. Did you miss the move? Bitcoin, will it hold 11, right? And then Bitcoin holds 11. It's 16 incoming. Watch out for alts. It's a huge dump for the alts, but not Bitcoin. Bitcoin 89 or 16K. Did I long Bitcoin? Why Bitcoin is going to 16K? Is Bitcoin preparing for a major move? Bitcoin about to pump to six, top 16K. Here's why. 20 hours ago. Bitcoin blasts past 11,600. 16K is closer than you think. Okay, so. <clears throat> now. Let's get into the chats. Now you can clearly see the bearish divergence here on Bitcoin. So once you're in a trade and you're feeling hot to trot and you're getting that euphoria. And you're, you're in a good trade and things are going well for you. Now, here's a place that it likes to bounce is off the 21-day moving average. See, price doesn't like to go too far away from that. When it hits it, usually rides it a little bit before it either breaks or bounces. Sometimes it falls through pretty quick. So that's a place you should see if the price either flips down from or hangs out around a little bit. But that's what happens if you're basically you're feeling really good in a trade, things are going well. Flip up to the one minute. Flip up, flip yourself up to the one minute chart. And uh, while you're there, look for some divergence. If you're in my, if you're first coming here to my channel, we are divergence traders. I am like, it's like a divergence crew over here. Uh, I am just always looking for divergence. Divergence, divergence, divergence. I'm using it for entries, I'm using it for exits. I'm using it for the health of the trade. I'm using it for many, 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 many different things. And it's coming in handy. So why did I long Bitcoin down at 11, basically 11,400? And let's see what's going on. Well, when I'm looking at Bitcoin on the four hour, okay? This is what I saw. I saw us channeling basically inside of this bull flag here let me turn off my discord which I barely use I should use discord way more than I do but I don't anyway so if you look at Bitcoin on the major time frames here like four hour and up one on the four hour you can clearly see that Bitcoin is just continually in an uptrend now we shrink it down to the six hour look at this 
And to me, this is a pretty much a fractal of the 2017 bull market. We came back down. We rounded into a rounded bottom here. You know, you can just elongate this. Just so, I'm going to show you something. You can just see the cycle of Bitcoin in and, in and of itself. So rounded bottom here, right? Pretty obvious. Something like that. Okay. And you can almost... <laughs> You can almost say it's a giant cup and handle. I laugh because it's funny. Like, like, it almost looks like a giant cup and handle, which would blast off, right? But then, and then we have our that run up last summer there in June, and now we round it again. Just to me, they just they're funny little, right? That's a giant double bottom. And we're on our way up. And if you took the measurement of this double bottom, you just made things simple for yourself, right? Because we play double bottoms all the time. Basically, you line this up to this line here, which is the head of the W. And bring this down to that line and then take that measurement. And that puts you up here at 22,000. And then remember, Bitcoin only has to go... Now, look at this. Since March, Bitcoin is up 187%. And even if we if we go down to the low, 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 low of that wick, it's up 429%, right? And let's make sure we're not... Okay, no, I'm wrong. 229%, okay? Now... At its, high, at its very high, it was up 236%. Retraced a little bit. So now, for Bitcoin to go to where it needs to go now, which is to all-time highs and above, look, it doesn't even need to go up 100% now. If that doesn't give you the chills or like make you realize what's going on here, but look at this double bottom. I never I never looked at this before. I never said anything about it. No one else has really pointed it out. Bitcoin in a double bottom. Right? I mean, that's pretty not pretty gnarly, if you ask me. So I'm very bullish on Bitcoin in the long term here. Do we even see divergence? Any divergence on Bitcoin? No. A little bit there. A little bit there. You could see there's a bullish divergence because we were moving up while this was swinging down. Totally. That's bullish right there. Anyway, that's hidden bullish divergence. And then that broke out right on that. And if you don't know what I'm saying, see, we take a swing low. Actually, now that will be up in here. Yeah, yeah, right there. Swing low to this swing low here. But it, if you go to these swing lows, they go down. It tells you that the trend will continue. So that's also hidden bullish divergence on the daily. In confluence with a big, nice pink and a curve up in the blue. So What's going on, 007? What's going on, Hadouken? David Lee? How's everybody feeling today? So yeah, I'm looking at this basically double bottom here for Bitcoin. Um, pretty much looks like it's ready to bounce. And um, yeah, I mean, these play out very much. This is a, the old double bottom. There's a double bottom in the RSI as well. Still bullish on Bitcoin, getting a little bit more of a pump. Holding 11.6. It's just climbing, man. It's just steadily climbing. If you look at the, even on the 15 minute, we can shake it out. Shout out to my biggest fans, Moonboy and the New Disciple. I wonder how you feel now. Uh, 
Come on, hit it, you both in the face. <laughs> These are doing good, bad boys. <laughs> Man. I try to keep the uh, the drama out of the channel, but I don't know. Whatever happened, happened. I have no idea. But karma does come to bite people that don't do the right thing. I don't know who did or who didn't, but I try to do the right thing. Um, shout out to who knew. Who knew the cake, brother? Hey, man, whatever you feel you got to do, you do. I have no uh, issues on anyone else's. Uh, as long as no one's hurting me, I'm happy. But, yo, did you see what we just showed? Like, you see the double bottom here on the daily on Bitcoin? Double bottom, man. And I'm sticking to it. It's not perfect, but nothing's perfect. But boom, 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 boom. Yeah, three day looks great. Just had a cross. Got a double bottom here. Somewhat of a double bottom here. XLM is pumping, huh? Mm. A little bit of a pump. Yeah, a little pump. Getting across on the three day as well. The one minute. You got a little bearish divvy though. A little bit there, bearish divergence there, falling back. It did pump a little bit, a little late. Cake doing its thing. I sold cake 70. I just saw bearish div on the one minute. Took my monies, but we'll see what happens with cake. I may re-enter. Where did cake, where are you cake? Wow, well, back up to 72 again though. Damn, it makes me want to FOMO back in. But I'm happy, man. I'm happy with the gains on the four hour. Oh, it says we have so much more to go, though. Double bottom. There's the bearish divergence playing out. I just had a lot of money in it, and I didn't want to get killed. What's up, user? Yeah, I got an in at 55. Who knew we've been pushing cake, man? Who knew got cake on my radar? And he basically, like, watches it like a hog. And he knows where it's going in or up or down. So, yeah, I think I think it's going to retrace a little bit here. We'll have some time to get back in. We'll see what happens with cake. Cake can be funny, though. Okay, so I'm going to look here at an old favorite here, Chromia. Right? CHI. Look like it's doing its flagging on the four hour. We're in the pink. Uh, we see... No divergence or anything, but you know, we don't always have to have, that's always, that's like a bonus. We like to trade it though if we find it. So this is looking well. We're in a falling wedge here on the RSI. We also have the MACD coming down, looking like we're in a bit of a, you know, we're going to have a blue curve soon. The two hour has the curve and the pink. We're at the bottom of the trend line. This was your, per, your buy here at 03054, up a little bit already up damn near uh, 3% if you think about it because 3 would be 10% on 30 and it's up like 1 cent, right? It's weird. I hit that thing like three times in a row. Oh, it must be, You know what it must be when I hit the yellow, it turns it off. Yeah, so already up 3.1%. Interesting. I feel like I missed the move. That's how hard I am on myself. Even though it looks like it's about to pop though. But it could, you know, no, it could have some more red and come back down to the trend line yet one more time. Then you're already down 3%. A little bit of a cup and a handle hanging here, but then coming back down. Very interesting, though. So 10 coins to 10 million. I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to get into what coins I think people should have in the bag for a bull run. And we're going to start with number one, Band. I think Band is just too integrated as an oracle into too many... Uh, D5 projects, it'll be used. Its name comes up synonymously with a lot of other coins, such as Chainlink. You know, um, also seems to be like it'll be used with the polka dot space, like it won't be left behind. Um, one thing I do see on band is a shoulder head, possible another shoulder here could be a bearish sentiment. Or we could have said that it here was the shoulder and we already did kind of fall bearish. Then we had a triple bottom right here. 
bottom, 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 came back up, hit this level of resistance, bounced, and now we're moving back out on the two hour, about to have a cross, four hour probably looks juicy with just some red, actually no, we haven't even gotten into the red yet, not sure if that's a move on band, I wouldn't get into band at the very moment, what am I doing, I'm sitting on band, I'm up 15 bucks, I got into band at 618, but I got into band about a couple days ago, so it's been a hold, Bitcoin doing well, um, pumping back up to six eleven six five eight. Let's take a look at the dominance before we uh, do anything else. Cool. Yeah, what I did is I pinned this to the Telegram channel. So Bitcoin dominance pumping a little bit. Not good to see, right? Having a nice pump with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin taking the dominance up with it. Let's see where we're at on like the four hour. So I said we were in that rising wedge, which we are. Uh, we could break out of it. If we broke out of it, it would bring us to the dominance other resistance line here at 6387. Wow, dominance went up to 63. So what we see here is we had our MACD cross on the two hour. Here's the four hour, getting a big bit of a pump. Uh, we are at resistance, as you can see here. We hit it here, we hit it, we hit it. We were near this area too, so hopefully Bitcoin can cool down a little bit and go sideways for a little while. Even though I'm in it, it's just like, I like to see the altcoins pump. So just something to see here. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't want to see dominance go up anymore. 30 minute. We got, yeah, it's looking pretty bullish. Not oversold yet. We see some bearish divergence though. As this swing up goes high, but this swing goes low. For now, that's a pretty good sign. Bearish divergence. We'll take that as some sentiment to help these alts. Let's take a look over at Binance. See what it's doing. So cake taken. So we won, man. When you were in the trade that won that's the number one on Binance. So we put you in the biggest the biggest winner if you were in my group. We were, I was pushing cake all night long. I was well, I was baking cakes. I was baking cake all day, baby. Cake was the cake was the cake walk. So you gotta hand it to me. That's the first time that we our channel and our group hit the number one coin for the day. So congratulations to everybody who took cake, wasn't cake. I mean we did it. We we got the most gains on Binance that were possible last night and into the morning. So very good. Very well done. Who knew? Shout out to you, my friend. Uh, I get 10 coins. Are these coins you have, or are there some different ones that aren't on your list? Yeah, I'd like to just go through like a list of different things and see what's going on. But first coin on the list. So this is just 10 coins that I think will make you a millionaire, a 10 millionaire possible if you have them. And there's so many, honestly. There's a like. There's probably a ten list of ten coins that could make you a millionaire, right? But I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to narrow it down to like somewhat of an idea. Impossible, really, if you think about it. But we're just trying to narrow it down. Waves probably has a big pump coming this week with a lot of news. Looks like it'll ride a wave. No pun intended. Um, look like pink's about to come too. Good time to get into wave, waves. If you, if you just if you're gonna long it and you're okay for a hold, because it's gonna have some news. Feel like it's gonna pump this week. I mean, granted, Bitcoin doesn't take the alts down for a ride, so right now it's in a bit of a downtrend. Had some bearish divergence play out right here. If you candle it up, you know, and then boom, play down. So it fell out of that. 
One hour looking pretty nice. About to have a cross. So it fell out of this. When's the last time the one hour had a decent cross? It was right around here. And it pumped all the way from 260 with a candle wick at 330. Now you have a cross right there too as well. Kind of the beginning of it. Very interesting. So this could be the beginning of something. I also see some bullish divergence. If you guys can see it. Probably more apparent on the 30 minute. But there it is. We're swinging down. But here, right here, we're swinging up. There's the entry for waves at 290. 297 ain't that far ahead. We're sitting right there on the 21 day moving average. Like to buy as close as you can to that, down or up or on it. Kind of like the entry on waves right now, honestly. Um, big news coming. A lot of moves coming into waves. So I'm thinking, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That divergence tells me that this is possibly the end of this falling wedge type situation we're in right now. Because I see it playing out there. Huh. <sighs> Very interesting. Let me see the one minute. Do I see another entry? Yeah, one minute is about to pop. Honestly, about to have a cross. Waves. Once it gets above these moving averages too. That'd be pretty nice for waves. It would kind of end its, end its shenanigans. And again, I do see the bullish divergence. Because to me, that's a bit of a, a down slope. And this is a clear up that's clear bullish divergence on waves. Um we're obviously gonna have resistance at two ninety nine, three dollars. It's just that psychological support area. It's gonna battle there. Um so either look to break out above there, but I'm liking waves, man. A lot of news coming this week. That dude's tweeting his 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 butt off the founder over there, two ninety seven waves. I'm building a good case for waves. Look at the four hour, about to have some pink. You basically would be front running the pink right now, which is basically my favorite time. There's nothing but gains. We identified bullish divergence. Right there, even. On the one hour. There it is. There too. About to have our next bottom. On the RSI, in my opinion. Hmm. 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 Waves. Broke out a little bit. Retesting. Possible retest that just occurred. One minute seeming like it wants to pump. Pumping a little bit here. Waves. Waves could be making some waves. Okay, so. Coin number one is Bitcoin. <laughs> Coin number one is a Bitcoin. Okay, I think you should have a lot of Bitcoins. Now, it could do this for the next day or two. It'd like to do this before. Just sit in the one minute, even on the one minute, sit inside a channel. And let the altcoins play. But this would be great. If Bitcoin just sits right here. Has a little fun. Just bounce off the trend line. Seems like it's doing its thing. So this is what you guys can do too. You get on the one minute, you draw these channels, and then you kind of just watch them. And you can put alerts. Like you can put a, a like a, I'll put a green line like right below the channel. Alt H it. Like put an Alt H just right here. Right click it. Put an alert on it. And you know if Bitcoin goes and falls out of the channel, it'll hit this line. You'll you'll know. You're like ooh. Still some bearish to be. Bearish divvy right here. We're a little bit of an upswing. We took the candle. It's not. So uh, the wick, the candle wick, it's not. But we'll see. Dash looks good, boss. Boss. I am nobody's boss. Dash looking really good. Now it's starting to flag on the one minutos. Looking just like Bitcoin. Everything's going to mimic Biddy Bitcoin right now on that USDT pair, honestly. But you do see 
more bearish divergent on Dash than you saw in Bitcoin. So it's possible to look at three tops, three hills. Boom. Look for Dash to come down maybe here. That support, 67.54, but still looking really good. Let's check it out in the four hour, get into the nitty gritty. So Dash did a nice pop. You can see there's the bull, a little bit of, well, a bit on the one hour. So I was already looking at Dash, said there was your entry there for Dash at 65. Kind of called it out the other day, yesterday actually, when we were looking at it. Um, then you had higher lows. To me, it looked like everything was moving on the way up yesterday, honestly. Let me... Okay. So, what else? What's the second coin? The first coin is Bitcoin. The second coin to $10 million. Cardano. Okay, I think Cardano is going to go to $1,000 a coin. I think it's going to do amazing things. I think it's going to take over entire economies and industries and be a running of infrastructures throughout the world. So Cardano, okay? Number three, XRP. Why XRP sitting at 25 cents? Because I was in XRP and I saw it in just a few weeks go from 25 cents, 30 cents, all the way to $3. $3 and like 29 cents. Might have went to 330 even. And so XRP, man, and there's talk about it being part of some type of change or disruptor. It's finally broke out of this falling wedge it's been in. Very bullish for XRP in that one hour time frame. Four hours looking pretty good too. We had our cross coming up on the MACD and there's some chance for more. Here we are clearly at resistance. If XRP can break this line, should be able to get up to the next set of resistance here at 26 cents. So. Look, just watch XRP, put an alert here if it crosses this line. Looks like it'll get some legs to get up another 4.5%, 3%. But number three, man, XRP. Just because I believe that if you don't have a bag of it, you may find out that it was a bad idea. And I don't want to be that guy who, for, who didn't realize that XRP could have taken you to the moon. Too many people own it, has a huge bag holding situation as well. And it's a sleeper coin, man. At this point, people don't really believe in it. They don't talk about it. They think, eh. So to me, I don't know, XRP. Okay, number four. Tezos. I'm still very bullish on Tezos. I really think having a bag of Tezos is important. It stakes for 6 to 7% a year. Yeah, it's bottomed. I think this is a really good place to accumulate Tezos. Tezos under $2.50 to me is a steal. It's one of the longest uh, coins that's been around for a long time. Really like Tezos, okay? Tezos at number four. <clears throat> number five. Number five. Number five coin of the day. LTO. Yes, LTO. Many people would have said I would said LTO, but I did. Honestly, LTO looking very similar and starting to coil up. Get your LTO rocket ship bags on because this coin already coming in at 13 or $14, or uh, 13 cents a coin, is a true keeper of Oracle's protocol in the space of DeFi. It's a true DeFi winner. Doesn't get talked about enough, has really overperformed, and is very undervalued at the moment. Is it about to break out? Yes, it is. As you can clearly see, making higher highs as it's inside of this channel on the four hour. It just did make a curve. It's possible it either breaks out or it comes back down to the bottom of the trend line. Here we are on the one hour, seeing a little bit of bearish divergence, as you can clearly see here. Moving up, can't tell you how important this is. The only sad thing about bearish divergence is it makes you a know-it-all. Like you just know that certain things uh, are gonna be, uh, you know, um, are gonna happen. Like you can't lie to yourself and say, oh, I think I'll stay in this trade a little longer. It's like, no, you can't. It's like, <laughs> it's like the more you know, the more you know you have to act like you know. Okay, 
Number six. Number six. IOST. IOST, man. I know no one believes this, but IOST. Also coiling up, looking very similar to LTO. Not as coiled, though. Not as bullish. But doing similar things, making a higher low. Coming in. This DeFi space is getting ready to pop again. You can clearly see the whole space getting ready to have a big, some type of big movement here, in my opinion. This is at the bottom of the trend line, though. That's the difference between this and LTO. It's in the perfect place to accumulate at the very moment. Really like IOST. This is like the lowest I've seen it to. They brought it all the way up to about almost $0.08, cents, $0.07.5, cents, so an easy 100% coming. And I think there'll be some huge gains. This hits $0.10. Cents. Right now, it's not even a cent. It's a half a cent. At the last bull market, I found coins like this. I found Sia coin. And Sia coin was zero, zero, like one or two when I found it. And I tried, I was like, I should get as much as I can before it hits a cent. And then sell it at 10 cents. And that was like my goal was to make like hundreds of thousands of dollars off Sia coin. And I didn't make hundreds of thousands of dollars, but I made damn near 38, 40 grand. And I kept buying it underneath. Eventually, I had like eight or nine thousand dollars. By the time it was like two, three cents, and when it went to ten cents, I sold it all, and I was a happy man. And I believe IOST has the potential because it's locked into the DeFi. It's the, it's basically the cheapest DeFi coin that really ha it's got a little bit of pop to it. It moved before with the space, as you can see. But to me, I just think, uh, and it's at these low lows. Has a lot of support right here at this region. I believe this was its bottom. We know there was a, the bullish divergence. We can see it right here in the long run too. As this was a lot higher than that to boom. And this goes up to there. And there kind of claims your bottom area here as we move on. And then you see it again. A little bit of uh, bullish divergence right here. You can see it. Let me go zoom in and make it a lot clearer for you. I just want to make sure I can see the RSI. Yeah. Going down while we're moving up. <clears throat> yeah, it's not even going to make the list, too. Number six. Number six, or did I do number six? ICX. I like ICX in a major way. Look at the bullish divergence play out on ICX right there. I put it in my onto the chart. I put it in the group yes, last night. Just threw this out there. Check it out. Like a little check out ICX. ICX should claim back into the 40s. Make its move. It's still in this downtrend. But clearly starting to show some divergence here. Especially here and there. So in my opinion, that's kind of where you start to see the bottoming, or at least a move on its way out back up to the top of this channel here. So at least ICX back up to 40, 41 possibly. Interesting. I like ICX really long term hold though, as much as like, I think it's a very, very interesting coin long term. If we, I want to spend more time on it one day and just really talk about it because it's already being implemented. And throughout the bear market, it was still profitable, kept money, didn't have to fire all its employees. Very, very strong coin. So ICX. ICX. Number three, polka dot. Okay. Polka dot, man. I think dot just has so much potential, has a fan base. We went over why we think it can get to three to four hundred dollars a coin easily in the next bull run. So, boom. This is my idea here. Look, it's riding the bottom of this channel here. Look like it's going to stay in here in this new in this new range. Found a bottom at three ninety nine. Looks like dot around four dollars is the new cool bottom for dot. In a way, I'm going to be bold and say I believe that four bucks may be the cheapest you'll get dot. I think uh, at the very, here it does have some port, 380. If you're lucky, you get it for 380 one more time, but there's a chance you don't. 
there's a very good chance you don't. I'm not doing like huge an analysis on it, really. I'm just kind of glossing over the idea, but dot. I like dot. It's still in a downtrend, as you can clearly see, though. So this has to be where it starts to break the trend, which is in making higher lows. So I'd like to make it now. It has to make a higher high. So dot's got to go back to 460, 470 somewhere in the air in that area and hold a daily candle close. And uh, we'll be excited for dot. That'd be a good thing. A really good thing. Okay. Now we have two more. Two more coins. It's hard. It's really hard to choose. Honestly. Like engine coin comes to mind because it's basically going to make untangible, fungible items that weren't able to be in the same game better. I mean, look at the triple bottom here too. On the one hour, which is strong. It's got some funny business going on with it, but I must have it on some. Oh, that's on Bitrix. That's why you don't get the best uh, data on Bitrix. Of course, you see the bullish divergence right here. Booming. Booming. Like so. And we did come off that. There was a bottom there at 14. I'm not putting it on my list, but I do like Engine Coin. Oh yeah, Ethereum, man. I feel like you have to have some Ethereum. I can't say you don't. I know there's so many coins out there to have, but Ethereum. I think Ethereum needs to be a bag holder of yours. I think you need to make it your friend. Accumulate some Ethereum. You yeah. know? And do we go over Link? Do we do Link? And Link, man, you got to have some Link. The Link Marines, dude, on the one hour, they're about to fly. They want to go places. They're done. They're done hanging out sideways. Link doesn't go sideways for long. You know that and I know that. So Link in this channel. Double bottom possible too. Sloppy one, but it's there. So there's a very good chance Link wants to make a big move. Just break right out. So Link, man. So we went over. There's 11. I'd have to say there's 15. Because there's coins I can't, I just can't leave out. You know? Nimic. I like Nimic. And I am IQ. I also like Parsec. Parsec token. Nim on KuCoin. This guy right here. Nimic. This thing's bottoming it out pretty much. The lowest it could ever go. Huge spike. Might be some nice mimic. It's only 0, 0, 002 tenths of a cent. This thing, you get a bag of mimic at the right moment. That's all I'm saying is it could pay your way, man. I put longs. I put a long on it, baby. <laughs> I'll put a long hold on that bitch. So here we go. We have bullish divergence. As you can clearly see. So was that your bottom buy? Is that your bottom your bottom dollar? I put an A to chart on your telegram. What do you think? Can I do that? Is that how you sound? Is your name do you sound like this? <laughs> I'm being silly, man. All right, let's check out this chart that got posted. Ada, 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 Ada. 933. 933. Cool chart. Looks like Ada's in a rising wedge, which isn't the best. But honestly, I see something different. You ready? What I see, I'm about to flip it for you. See, I'm looking at your chart, and I already see something different. I see, I draw an imaginary line right here, and I see myself a shoulder ahead. And a shoulder, and I see something about to pop, my friend. But let me see. Let's check it out. I put longs on Link saying dot. I put a long on that bit. <laughs> I put a long on it. I kept it like that. Ada. Okay, you were on the. What time frame were you want, boy? 
You want that daily now, huh? You want that daily, boy? Let me take all this work off that eighty, boy. So could this be a neckline for a head and shoulder? I'd like to say so, but let's think about it. Shoulder, head, shoulder, shoulder, pop. I believe so. Try to get the target of the of the biggest head, right, and then move it up here, which would kind of coincide to break through this support and get you to basically up here. So I kind of see that Ada could pop. 34%. You hold in dash ADA XRP XLM Tezos OMG alert on Bitcoin. Really? Bitcoin? Oh my goodness. You just fell really fast. See that? See how that worked? If it stayed out of the channel, I said, then there you go. And there you go. But do we have some hidden bullish? We do, my friends. Could be hidden bullish divergence there. Telling you that the trend will continue. All we need to do is break 11.5 strong. I mean, Dash was a big coin. I think that, I don't think you need to hold that. For some reason, I would, I love Dash and I've seen Dash at $500 a coin before, even $1,200 a coin. Dash can move. And there you go with cake falling, falling that little bit of a dip. But look at this double bottom on cake. Hmm, 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 hmm. When is the time to get back in? We'll know when the time is right. So again, I sold at 70. Yeah, it went to 73, but I sold the top. I feel like I'm good at selling these tops, man. You just, when you're euphorically high off something, when you get 27% overnight, you should sell the top. Hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Oh, I just had to go to the bathroom. Okay, guys, so 68 cake already falling down. Things moving down fast. 629. But Bitcoin's still doing really well, if you think about it. As long as it flags here, let's build a flag scenario for Bitcoin on the one hour. So let's take this flag, which is a pretty nice flag. Something like that. So it could be something like this. And this candle is bigger than those last candles. Just hope we don't have a bad candle in the one hour. And that would be cool if we can hit, you know, 11.6. Even if you go to 11.585, I'm so cool with that, you know? And then we just keep going on our very, very way. Let's look at that weekly candle close. 
Weekly candle close, man. Let's check it out. It was a funny week. So, we closed at 11.503, you guys. Like, right above, right above 11.500, which is awesome. And then that weekly worry that I kept talking about, where we had our crosses, crosses, so far, exactly what I said. I said either we have a cross or we get a dip and we go through no bearish momentum, which we do. And now we're building another cross on the weekly. I mean, crosses on the weekly, they're huge. So that's another reason why I was bullish on Bitcoin. I've been tracking it this whole time, guys. And I was basically scared. I was like, oh, my God. If I was like an if, then what type of thing, right? If this happens, then that happens. And I was really freaked out we were going to have a huge retrace. So I was staring at that weekly. And when the weekly candle didn't do what I thought it should have done, and I saw the MACD curve like that, I said, wow, we're in business. We're in business for a Bitcoin long. And that's why I've been long in and out of Bitcoin for the last couple of weeks now. Yeah. Yeah, no, I bought Dash. I bought a bunch of Dash around 200 bucks a coin. Bought like 12 Dash. And I just hold them on a wallet now for a long time. So, yeah, I'm down on Dash that I bought like two years ago. I just love it. I, it you know why? They had like the best marketing campaign. I don't know if they, you can find, but they have like, they had really good commercials on YouTube. I don't see them anymore, but they at the time they really did. They were like one of the best, you know, they were the most forward advertising coin, in my opinion, at one point. So many trucks around. My neighbor's always doing some work. Bitcoin, man, continuously pumping. Let's look at the regular markets. I didn't really take a look. I just want to see what's going on to kind of get a grasp of the idea of, of what we're looking at today. Now, GE making... I just see... Damn, man. I just called this move on GE. I just said to buy GE and it's around $6. If you could, 661 Second, I'm talking about GE, it pumps. It's like I'm a myth, myth man. 10% move on GE. Electrotechnology, aerospace and defense. See, General Electric, they're going to have hydrogen and stuff. They have government contracts. They don't just make whirlpool machines, you know, uh, dishwashers and stuff. Like, there's going to be some big moves where GE. I think GE is something you definitely don't want to sleep on. If you ever had, if you needed to buy a stock, it's GE, man. Uh, so fluent. Damn. Came back down hard. All right, the Dow. So the Dow's struggling today while Bitcoin's pumping hard. So that's all right. I want to see a decoupling, honestly. This is a double top in the Dow. This could start and see that here on the Dow even? Hmm. No green dots, right? Yeah, last green dot I told you to buy was up here. That means we're high. We have a blood diamond right here. I see the last blood diamond. We fell down. Blood diamond. That those represent pretty bearish moves. Blood diamond down. Blood diamond down. Blood diamond down. Blood diamond. Blood diamond down. Big blood diamonds really down. Let's see if we have a, what kind of blood diamond we have up here, but I'm sure we have a big one. There's a little blood diamond there, blood diamond. So these blood diamonds, whenever you see them representing a fall, we got one right there at the tip of the pack of the apex here. Not looking good for the Dow. How about the dollar index? Blood diamonds, red X down too, hitting the top of the trend line, should come back down. So that's going to be good for Bitcoin, in my opinion. So we have the dollar index falling, the Dow falling. Let's take a look at gold. Gold doing a little bit of a pump, right? Nice. Yeah, gold having a pump. On the one hour, came up really high to 1918, got rejected, came back down, then got bought back up at 19, form a nice support here at 19. Uh, there's a dub double bottom action here too. I said 1860, 1880 may have been the last time you can get gold that cheap, and I stand by that. So look at the double bottom there and gold on its way. So gold doing well. Look at JNUG at 139, sitting inside of this channel, back into the pattern that it was in. So now JNUG's about to coil up. So you want to be buying JNUG soon. Uh, about to pump and go up 63% all the way to 233. That's my call for JNUG. Um, 
So I'm holding, I'm standing strong on that. And if you want to short the market, the S, SX, um, SPXU is, is, is so oversold. If we look at the regular indicator hard here, but this is so oversold. Okay. Um, What do you think of my list? Where is your list? Is it in the Telegram? I don't see a list, Theo. Okay, but 70. So SXPU, man, this is so oversold. We'll go to the daily or the three day. We see some bullish divergence too. That's kind of scary. This is the XMP short, right? So when you see bullish divergence on the X, SXP short on the daily, even on the three day, ooh. That tells you that's time to buy, right? So if it's time to short the SX, the S&P, that worries me a lot. That tells me that the market's about to drop. Because this tells you that this is this is a bullish sentiment on shorting the S&P. And the fact that it has this much bull, look at this bullish divergence. I mean, this is insanity. Like, that's telling you. We go to the, the beginning of this move. That's telling you that there's a, a wave, a wave a coming, right? Was on the live but in Telegram now. ETH dot BNB theta chainlink band share ring Zilliqua Cardano V chain. I think it's great. I think it's great. I think you can't go wrong. Um, the only thing I don't see there is Bitcoin. People go, don't sleep on Bitcoin, man. I'm telling you one day is gonna rip. Go to 20k from 16k, and you'd be like, damn, man, that's. You'd be surprised what Bitcoin can do, man. You'd be surprised when it rips. Remember that day just recently, 7k to 11,000 in like 20 hours. So it can do what an altcoin can do. I know it takes a while, and I know it's not an altcoin. Trust me, I get it. But I just think you gotta hold, you gotta hold some bitty bit. But hey, I could be wrong. Someone would say, hey, sell all your bitcoins for some alts. Let's look at ETH. We don't talk about ETH, but yeah, we actually just to stay on that. What were we doing there? The SXP, right? So the S&P, man, short the S&P here at 770. That's telling you that's the bottom. Look at the divergence. That's you buy on the second bump of the first high after it has a horrible crash. That's its bottom. And if that's its bottom, that's telling you the Dow is on its way down. Because this is the opposite. This is when you short the Dow. So this is the Dow shorting instrument here, uh, the S&P shorting instrument. This is how you short the S&P. So if you short the S&P at 770, let me just see you, let me show you how much you can make. Because it's about to happen. I think the Dow's about to have a bang out. So if it even gets to like medium highs of where it was just in May or August, it just gets back to this August high. You're looking at 1,000. If we can just get back to the August high of 182 bucks. Well, that's 07, my bad. I'm out of my mind now. We're looking at the three day. Anyway, it's been, you, you could make 2,000%, man, I'm telling you, or more. You could make at least 325%. That's March. Gets back to its March high. When the market tanked, it went back, it was at 40 when the market tanked. Um, and right before that, 55, and this thing's sitting at 70. So you could seven extra money, 
Just saying, man. Five extra money. So be ready to short the market. When the market's about to tank, just put throw your money into SX, SPXU, man. Pro Shares Trust Ultra Pro Short S&P 500 ETF. Close. B2X. So that is a investment trust mutual fund that is shorting the market. So if you need to short the market, you short the S&P, and that's how you're going to do it. Tesla. I mean, we got bearish divergence all over, right? Look at that. Swing high to swing high. It's going down. Tells you that Tesla did come down. That may be it playing out. That's it. Bounced off of the... And now it's kind of doing a bit of a flag or a pennant. So look for Tesla. On the 12-day, on the 12 day, on the 3-day, looking really good. 12-hour just had a cross, but it's still like it broke out. And it's on its way out of this pennant I drew. On its way to $626. So... Very bullish on Tesla. So the stimulus talks are tomorrow. I say it's going to happen, I mean, I think they're going to definitely push it through. But even that, once they push it through, it's going to take forever, man. So NAO taking that retrace that I said it would. Uh, mark my words. Um... Bearish divergence, clearly playing out there as well. So, and you could just tell that was a top. It was oversold, so overbought. I mean, I mean, come on, look at where the R, look at where the MACD was. You didn't know want to sell then. You're just not thinking straight. So, anyway, I begged my friend to sell at twenty nine, twenty eight. He said he was gonna hold it. Whatever, do what he wants. He do what he wants. He doesn't realize it could come all the way back to twenty. But anyway. Now you wait for what you see what happens. And whenever it forms a nice pattern that you like to play, then you get back in. And that's how I play these. I've been pushing this stock for days now. It's called Support Com Inc. And they're basically a technology services package software for basically educational learning. So people could learn to use, like, you know, go to school with this software. And with all the remote stuff going on, to me, this was just a huge buy. Talked about it around a dollar, a dollar twenty. I said even to buy here, right here at one eighty two. It's now at two thirty eight. Gains upwards of forty percent. So not much more I can do. And this was a logical buy. It's a simple, pretty simple buy in the market. Let's take a look at the total market cap for the cryptos and get back into Bitcoin. Eleven six thirty nine. Falling down a little bit. Look at the one minute that we retrace. Okay, so we bounced. Now we're forming another higher high, though, which is good. Can't hate on that. So we're in a bigger, in a bigger channel, possibly a widen, a broadening wedge, which still can be bullish. So watching Bitcoin. Dot. Double bottom. Some bullish divergence on the one minute. There's your entry. Just keep watching these and learning. YFI. Why if I trade today? There's divergence here too on the one minute. Yep, nice. Very well done. And that's it right there too. You caught it like right at that moment in time. Let's long it, guys. Let's long it here together at 14.8. Call it a day. Let's put the whole kit and caboodle in there on the divergence. Are you guys like, yeah, really? Is he going to do it? Yeah, why not? Why not? You only live once, man. I don't care anymore. No. <laughs> I'll mess with you guys. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. Let's take a look at this. 
perfect entry right here. I like what it, I like the what I see right now. What I don't like is we're not buying the bottom, but we could say that it's now forming this trend as it's breaking out. We could be buying the bottom of this trend line. Look at the one hour about to cross. Hefty, hefty. Cup and handle. You guys see the cup and handle? Let's see this. We're building something up here. We might not have much more time. There's your handle. This is about to skyrocket. It's in that falling wedge, making higher highs, higher lows. There's your divergence too, bullish divergence on that dot. There was your entry there at 1307. Nice call. Very nice call. I think it's a decent call. Just, I think I, I think I like this right now. Look, it's in a pennant here too on the one hour, about to pop. Four hours about to roll over though. So the MACD is kind of done. So get out some pain now. So you might want to wait. The four hour says to take a breather. Don't go in yet. You know. So we'll see. But everyone doing well, man. The trade trading group is doing well. Everyone seems to be really happy with what they're doing, which is awesome. I see people making trades and taking money, which I really like to see. It's my favorite thing is to see that. So good for you guys, man. Good for you guys. Kicking ass and taking names. Don't let anybody give you any SHIT ever. Don't take shit from anybody, man. Remember I said that. You know, at the end of every Billy Joel concert, he'll grab the mic and say, and don't take shit from anybody. You know, pretty cool guy, Billy Joel, man. Why if I twelve hour may roll over the daily though, looking so hot, looking really hot in your daily. You even have the bullish divergence on the daily, with your entry right here at twelve thirteen twenty eight. But damn, man. This thing is hot to trot right now. There's like a double bottom on that daily. Huge gains coming back to 30K. 100% in a month and a half possibly. Maybe just if you're able to stay cool on this and relax. No, I'm not in Zilliqua. Nope. I am not. I moved my stop loss up and got stopped out for like 1 or 2%. Well, let me see way back. I can't even remember it. Feels like a thousand years ago. I was playing Zilliqua. Bitcoin 11,632 though. And another thing I want to show you is, to me it's in this... See, it's in this pennant, about to break out of this pennant. 
So he bought a bitty Bitcoin. See it tomorrow at 14K. <laughs> Imagine if it goes to 14K tomorrow and you guys are like, this guy is a weirdo. How is he? How did he do that? But you can clearly see, man, it's it's been on an uptick ever since that horrible, horrible day, March nineteenth or something. Maybe it was even worse. Maybe it was the eleventh, the sixteenth or something, uh, the twelfth. I don't even want to know the day. That's how bad it was. But bitty Bitcoin, man, I'm still holding fifty seven hundred. That's the thing about Bitcoin, though. I put fifty seven hundred in, and I made a hundred dollars. You gotta put so much money in to make money on Bitcoin. Or you have to use leverage trading. I should have 10x that. I should have 100x that. Nostra Samus. That's what my friends were telling me when I like predicted the Wuhan thing. But I was just in a group, man, that was giving me intel. And they were telling me what's about to happen. LTO looks nice. It's gonna slow down on, on the four hour and the one hour though. Come back down to the trend line, get some LTO right here at 6.2, and you'll be very happy. So this is where you want to get some LTO. Do that about the breakout. I love LTO, though. Make you a lot of money. Link Marines, dude, they don't want to stop telling you they're going to pop, 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 pop. Watch out for the Link Marines, dude. This cup and handles coming for a city near you. Boom, 54% gains. And you're going to say, how did I miss that? I knew Link was going to. And how did I miss it? Don't miss it. Key is at the bottom of the barrel with that double bottom acting. And uh, yeah, probably would make you some monkeys if you got into Key. Put it on your radar. Breaking up of a downtrend. Finally, getting some resistance. Look for key to continue to make some moves. A big today. Could be actually pumping as we speak. A little bit of a pump for key. Very tiny coin. So any move it makes is a lot of money. Look at that 14% on a scalp. You don't see that on the, on the one minute. So we could have made 14% in the last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Basically when the stream began, right, somewhere around... No, this is saying at 3 in the morning, I guess. Now let me take my measurement tool. Seven hours. Damn. What's going on, Jesse B? Didn't miss much, man. We went over the 10 hottest coins to make mad money, and we're never going to talk about it again. That's all you missed. Nothing nothing special, really. We also, missed, we also talked about the trade of the day, but we're not going to talk about it here. <laughs> Support at 11, dude. Moon mission, Lambos. We're on the way. Pretty bad. No, you missed the Bitcoin popping up to 11,642. I'm sure you saw that, though, on some ticker you were watching while you were doing your thing. So Bitcoin up was a nice move. I've been pushing Bitcoin, telling you Bitcoin going to 16K, man. That's my number, and I'm sticking to it. 16, sweet 16. I'll check XVZ, XVS. That's the new, uh, it's the new SXP. Someone said that to me, and, and you know what? I believe it. I believe it. Like, a, like I believe it, man. So here it is in this falling wedge action, which is pretty sweet with the pink. About to pop. We'll look for that bullish divergence. Getting there. 30 minute probably has it. A little little flat. There's my camel though. It's cameling its way right out. And it's holding that 50 day moving average as well. So this thing looks like it's about to pop, 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 pop. XVS. Multi big headlines. Looking real hot in the four hour. And that's all it's got. Looking real hot in the two hour. Kind of came up on the one, but the two hour. I'm telling you that I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to rock. A little bit of a slanted double bottom. 
Not much though. Let's see on the 15 minute, do we have bullish divergence? We have it right there a little bit, very slight. The five minute, no, nope. and the one minute. Not totally, yeah, there it is, slightly right there, from this swing to that swing. It's off though, but a little bit, and then it moved, it did work off of it. And now it's in a bit of a flag, and it's holding this level. It's a 21 day moving average, 353. Pretty interesting. Let's see. I'm still in bow, balancer, man. I believe I found the bottom of bow. So let's go back to bow and just take a look at that. And I think you could still get into bow. It's, it's really holding that level. OMC Go really holding 338 too. Look at this triple bottom on the one minute. It's like, no, we don't want to go, man. We don't want to go there anymore. It went all the way to 325. When was that? That's when we sold, right? Up in here at 340. Well, it came all the way. That was to buy at 325. And then it pumped again. How do we miss those guys? Sit on the one minute and just wait for the bullish divergence after a, a super low RSI. That's really what you do. That tells you you can start the trend again. Damn, we missed that. 5%. How long did it take? Four hours and two minutes. Starting at 5 in the morning today and ending at 9.30 in the morning. So 4, it's a nice trade. It's a nice trade. My trade in Bitcoin is still holding really well. Only up 100 bucks, but still holding really well. 16.40. Augur, rep. Coin you might want to love. Put on your radar as well. So, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Extremely tired today. A little low energy compared to most days. Ocean. Put ocean on your radar. Cup and handle, guys. Looks like it's about to pop. Finally bullish on ocean. Took me a while, but it had to form some more support areas down in the dumps. But now I'm lugging ocean right now. Look at it. Cup and handle. Cuppy and Hendley. Breakout of the cup and handle. 13% gains coming to ocean. Look at it on the RS on the MACD. Four hour doesn't look too good though. One hour looks better, but check it out. PNT kind of broke out. I said it would get up there. It didn't hit the exact target. Got pretty close though. Got pretty close. And that's 20% gains. Yep. Automatic support and resistance. It just draws it for you and you can see all your lines. But it skips them. Like here, this could be this is gonna come in. This will come into play right here, this line here. Now it won't make me make my own lines. That's kinda whack. Nice though, I appreciate that man. That works. Just doesn't seem this. That's weird though, when that's on, it doesn't make me make my own lines. No, I can't make my lines, look at that. I'll just re reload. That's pretty cool though. That works. 
I like that. We need something quick and you just want to see it without having to draw a thousand things. Also, setting up the 200 day moving average for XTC. Definitely a, a time you want to get in there. Look at that pump happening there. XTZ. Oh, look at that. A little bit of slight secret bullish divergence because we are slanted down hard. But here we're pretty flat. And we're breaking out with a cross in the MACD as well. <laughs> Could be a nice pump for XTZ. Who I like me some Tezos. I like me a butter roll of Tezos. Tezos on a butter roll. Mm -mm -mm. Crossing here on the one hour. Already had a nice cross in the four hour. Moving up in the world. Hadouken. Yeah, Kava. Kava's awesome. I think it's time to buy Ren, man. Took a dump. I was a little too early on Ren yesterday. I'm happy I had a close stop loss, I think. <sighs> Boom. 3 3 3 3 3, though. Look at Ren now. Double bottoming here. About to have a cross on the four hour. Looking pretty bullish. It is a descending triangle, though. Could fall right out. So, lower lows on that bottom. We'll see what happens for Ren. Very close though. SRM about to break out. Four hour. Close to the bone. Everything's gonna watch how Bitcoin plays though, so be careful today. It's one of those. Wow, one hour. Look at that extreme bullish eh, no not bullish divergence, but oversold and pump. So there you didn't really get the divergence, it just pumped. But I guess if you went through the fifteen minute, you would have found it. Yeah, there it is. So if you can't see it, just go back in time. And that's why people don't realize, but Big bottoms are called on these small time frames. And you would have known to get in here on the divergence. And boom, you're off to the races. 2% gains coming on a block stack, STX. Interesting. But that's how it's done. Right there. SXP is interesting here at 120. Seems like it's really found a home at 120. Really likes 120. Let's see, what's this guy been backing up for two hours in this truck? It's insanity. Like, how long are you gonna back up, dude? And V chain, man, you can't forget about little old V chain. We cannot. Some bullish divergence right there on YFI. That's where your, where your entry was at one eight one. Wi Fi looking good though. Coming back down to this trend line, this is a very bullish pat pennant, in my opinion. About to pop. Look for it to get to 15,600 out of this triangle. 5% gains on that 15 minute. But that's also a cup and handle, in my opinion. So, a bigger pattern at play. This is about to explode. Let's see where the target for the cup and handle is. its previous resistance sixteen percent gains coming YFI with a breakout and there we go I did end up entering YFI on the low at fourteen seven no fourteen eight three three so not the best egg entry but we'll see what happens they need a double bottom with a pump there. These double bottoms play, man. It all plays. But it's always about that bullish divergence every time. Boom, there it is. There it is. And you're off. So you want to look for something that's pounded down right now. So you look for the red coin. 
So we go and let's see what's the, the best in my list. If it's still cake or. Anchor. Or Alpha Link. I guess did a little bit of a pump. Key. Ooh, I, we just talked about key. Isn't that crazy? I literally just said key. Like, I just talked about it. And then five minutes later, the thing is... Out of, look, I just said, like... Oh, my God. That's crazy. And it went up even more. We were just talking about it. Went up another 10%. In two minutes. Insane. Key, man. All of a sudden made its way to the top. Cake back to 65. Getting ready for another move. Resetting that MACD. Like Kate cool off. XLM high. Bearish divergence. There's a lot going on in the MACD there. Let let that cool off. So you want to get back in. Zilliqui, Zilliquam. Doing its thing. Daily about that. The 12 hour really hot. So Zilliqua can continue. These look all look really good on the daily meaning. Things are going well for them. They want to continue. They want to continue. Yeah, Link. Let's look at Link. We always talk about Link. The Link Marines, man. We went over those Marines, dude. The Link Marines. The Link Marines. Three thirty seven for almost you go. It's breaking out of the wedge in the bottom here. Looks like it could keep going. Keep going higher. Sun. I remember when I first bought my first sand coin. It was like yesterday. Oh the smell of the sand coin. Fin the sand against my hands. Sir you, you don't you don't touch the crypto, you I'm lying. <laughs> Silver, 24.6. Soul, 209. Falling down. Do we see some bullish divergence on Soul? So you gotta, you gotta find something that's, that's dead to rights here. There's your buy for Soul. I think we're kind of closing in. 30 minutes gonna give us some nice bullish divergence right there. 15 minute will probably really call it out even better. And there it is. And you can be safe and get into the second high right there. And that's your buyer. Soul making moves. Now bouncing off the 21 day moving average. Soul at 209, man. Making a call. I really like Soul. I think we found like a damaged wing here. Sun. Yeah, it is in the sun. Let's look at sun and then I'm going to bounce. Ooh, look at that thing. That thing is horrible. I've never even seen anything like that. <laughs> That's funny, man. Now it's making some funny moves. I'm staying away from this just because it looks... I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. Everything with Justin Sun is strange. He makes new coins and then they just... And then he just dumps them on everybody so he can make money. I think that's all he's doing. It's kind of crazy. I will not discuss it again. It's okay that you brought it up. I don't mind. Dollar index bouncing a little bit here on the one hour. Oversold. So look for that to bounce. Might hurt Bitcoin on the way up. Dot $4. Looking strong. Bottom of the trend line though. Nothing makes me want to jump around yet today. So to speak. Bitcoin holding 1638. Let's look at the one minute. It fell out but it's channeling now. in that channel. That's pretty good. And about to coil up. So big move for Bitcoin coming. We're either falling in or falling out. Look at this. It's channeling itself. So in my opinion, there's a big move coming. So you're going to fall out or fall in. When it gets tight in any way, shape, or form like that, then that's tightness. So something's happening to Bitcoin. Next few minutes, really. 
like the next like two three minutes <laughs> looks like we're gonna have another move up or a leg down but to me it's a move up higher lows a couple wicks trying to get you out look at this thing it's getting spicy the dominance just had a boom up too look at that in the last minute in the one hour though it's soon to roll over we still have that divergence so, Adam, 566, spiked up here to 573, came back down. What's that doing on the one minute? About to pump. Really about to pump. There's some bullish divergence there, too. Tells you that's your move right there. That's usually your move, your third time. Boom. I mean, and there you go. Cosmos. Like Cosmos at 566 coming out of this wedge with the bullish divergence looking pretty hot right now honestly yeah no doubt alright guys I'm going to split out of here thank you guys so much for watching please comment like and subscribe hit the bell for notifications so you can find out when I post my next video and remember crypto is life stay tuned for more I'm super excited for Bitcoin right now it's doing well, 11,600. Can't complain, man. Things are doing, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, uh, Spark Airdrop, Binance came out for it. So all you have to do is just hold your XRP on the Spark on Binance and you'll be able to get your Spark. So look for that Spark Airdrop. Move your XRP to a nice address to get your Spark. All right, everybody. And you should just hold it there during the snapshot. That's all you need to do. Um, and get some free Spocks. You never know what could happen to the Spock or how big the Spock could be. Um, what's the speculation on the Spock price? I used, to, I, I used to know I was listening to it before, but I'm not sure. I think it could be 30 cents, something like that. But who knows? Yeah, man. And if you have a lot of XRP, like... So, boom. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You can find out when I post my next video. And remember, crypto is life. Love you guys. Be safe. Have a good day. And I'll be out on the Telegram. If you're new, please join the Telegram in the link. And, uh, yeah. Wait, link's pumping? Or are you just saying go link? You got my attention now. Yeah, link making a little bit of a move. Oof. Go link. Go link. Doing its thing. A little bit of a pump. There you go, guys. The Link Marines back in action. Hit the like to the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You can find out when I post my next video. And remember, crypto is life. And if you came to the channel, then you're already doing the right thing. Thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, and being a part of the family. Please hit the link in the description of the video that says go to the Telegram channel if you would like to be part of the group and learn how to trade, swap stories about charts, discuss any coin you want, and actually get help on why you're not making money and join the group and we'll help you we'll talk we'll talk about it almost go back up in the picture too starting to pump so are we getting a little bit of a pump something happening something happening to these coins something going on bitcoin pumping back up at 11655 let me right before i go let me just take a look at bitcoin because it's pumping there it goes there it goes on that one minute. So it pumped out of this, just like I said it would. Remember I said it's about to pump? 
a second ago, I said in a few minutes, we're going to see, and it, it did. It did just like we said. <laughs> and we're not magicians, all we do, ooh, ooh, and then I'm wrong in like a half a second. Oh, but that's the retest. It always retests. It always breaks out with a retest. That was the retest. That's bullish. Tell you we're, we're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. It's going to take a bunch of these altcoins with it. So get into your USDT pairs and get ready to ride in the rocket ship. Zoom into space. Life should be good, man. I just got into Adam right off the bottom of the trend line here. 566 region. Boom. So we'll see what happens. Bam, 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 bam. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I can't say it again. <coughs> My allergies are kicking in. That's no reason I have to get off. Just getting bad. Be safe. I love you.